I'd like to welcome you to the Geometric Dimensioning and Tolerancing Fundamentals Training Program. This training program is based on the ASME Y14-5 2009 standard. And that's an update to the earlier standard, the ASME Y14-5 1994 standard. And you notice this earlier copy of the standard is pretty beat up, just like yours should be beat up, you know, from constant use. And so you want to be able to begin using the 2009 standard. Yeah, and this is it. It's uh, all clean, new, ready for some abuse. Now, this uh, Geometric Dimension Intolerancing Fundamental video program has 17 units. It's all based in high-definition video. Now, the units 1 through 6 is going to be the basic fundamentals that everybody's going to need to know. Everybody should go through 1 through 6. But after 1 through 6, you can kind of customize the training a little bit to the type of topics you'd like to talk about. All right, now we put this slide in here because we want you to remind you that this is a 3D tolerancing system. We're actually tolerancing in three dimensions now, and it represents a coordinate system. We want to tolerance from a coordinate system from your X, Y, and your Z planes. And I have one up over here. This is a Cartesian coordinate system that everybody should be familiar with. You know, this here, what we look at it is, is this is the Z direction. You know, this here would be the uh, X direction back and forth and a Y direction up and down. And this represents everything that we do. This is our manufacturing equipment. You notice the bed on a machine, a fence and a stop. This is the Cartesian coordinate system you see in a CAD system or a coordinate measure machine. So what we need, and I don't think anybody can argue, you must have this on a part. We have to know where this coordinate system is because that's what we're going to use to measure. In the past, with some of our plus or minus dimensions, it was implied. It was that you looked on a drawing and you kind of saw some dimensions coming from there. And that worked in the past, but now with our new modern tolerances and requirements and quality requirements, it just isn't any good anymore. now. So mandatory that we're going to put a Cartesian coordinate system on all of the parts. And that's what geometric tolerancing is based on. We have a big section on uh, data reference frame. I think we have about uh, three or four units where we're going to talk about the Cartesian coordinate system and have you do some exercises on it. So uh, nobody can argue we need a Cartesian coordinate system, and we call it the datum reference frame that we're going to put on the parts.